All right. Okay, ready? Yep. Okay. Good afternoon. Oh, no, it's going to be morning. You know what? Good morning, grade one. Today, we're going to use what we learned about values, and we're going to paint a moose. Now, before when we learned about it, we started with the idea of using a line in the middle of what we were painting of the regular color. Now, what you can see is that I'm using the color brown. And I'm going to use this a little bit in the body here, just to kind of convey that this is the predominant color that we're starting with. This is the hue. Now, I want to add a little bit of white to it. So let's look at what I do. First, I'm going to change my my um, water a little bit on my brush. I'm going to damp it out, and I'm going to take a little bit of the white, just a little bit of the white, and I'm going to dab it in one spot. Now, I'm realizing the brown is runny. I'm going to have to really be careful. Now, I'm going to take some brown, and I'm going to mix it with that white. So I just get a slight difference in the tint of the color. I just only added, and now I'm going to color towards the front of the mousse. And you can see that the color brown now has a little bit of white in it. So this I can use for the legs. And then, you know what, I'm going to stop using this tint and I'm going to add a little bit more white. So now I'm going to put my paintbrush in the water again, take a little bit of white and add it to that mount that I already swirled together. Because now I want to make a lighter tint of brown. Let's see how I, well I did. I'm going to use it on the body. You can see that the color now has more white in it. So my tint has more white than the first tint that I made. And I'm going to use this on, I'm going to decide to use it on all of the mousse except for the antlers. So I'm going to use it on the face. And I'm going to be careful not to do the eye because I want the eye to be seen. And I'm not going to do the nostril because I want the nostril to be seen. So I'm going to do around it carefully. And then once I've done all that painting, I'm going to stop. Oops, I got a little bit around the eye. That's okay. That's okay. So now I'm going to dampen my paintbrush again, wipe it on the side of the container, get rid of the excess water, add a little bit more brown, and now I'm going to add a lot of white to that mixture. See how I'm not affecting the brown, the original brown. I'm not doing that. I'm just affecting the part where I started originally mixing it and making it a lot more white in it so that my tint is a lot lighter. And I think I'm just going to add a little bit more white. Now I'm, I'm happy with it. And now I'm going to do the antlers. Okay, so I'm doing the antlers with that tint that has a lot more white in it. And I'm liking this effect. I really think it looks neat. And oh, my paintbrush is going outside the lines a little bit. And that's okay. It'd be good, I guess, if I had some paintbrushes that were thinner. So maybe between now and when we do it in class, I'll see if I can find some that are thinner paintbrushes so that we can do these smaller areas. Okay, so now I'm done doing the tints. So I'm not going to use any more white anymore. I'm going to wipe off as much of the white from my paintbrush as I can. I rinse it off, really squish it out. And now I'm going to take a small amount of my brown, put it in a spot where nothing's been yet, and I'm going to add some black to it. I'm going to add a little bit of black, just a small amount, not too much at first, just a small amount, and I'm going to swirl that around. And you know what? I can already see that it's darker than what I want it to be, so I'm going to take some more brown, and I'm going to add it in because it's a little bit darker than I want to be initially for the shade. So now that I have a shade that's not as dark as when that bigger amount of black was added, now I'm going to paint it on the rump of the mousse over that back end near where the tail is. Okay, and down the legs. I'm going to do it down the legs. And 
you know what, I, I think I'm going to do the last leg even darker, so I'm going to take a bit more black. I'm going to mix it in with that mixture I made, that shade of brown with some black in it, and I'm going to really mix it up to get that black mixed in with that brown. And that's, that's the color I'm going to use for the last part of the mousse. And this is a much darker shade of brown because it has more black in it. Okay, now what we're going to do another time, which I think would be a neat idea, is that we're going to make the water different shades. So I don't want you coloring the water at all today. We're going to stop. If you want to quickly make a tree that's just not come out of winter dormancy yet, you can just have a tree that has branches without leaves on it, so we don't need green. And you can just use a little bit of your paint to make a tree. And maybe there might be a bush that hasn't come out of dormancy yet. So we can have a bush or two that are still not showing the green leaves on them. And then we can stop there. So as you can see, we started with the brown in the middle, going towards the front of the mousse, we add a little bit of white, and then going further towards the front, we add a little bit more white, and then for the antlers, we added a lot more white. For the back of the mousse, we add a little bit of black to make a slightly darker shade of brown. Then we add a bit more black to make a slightly darker shade of brown again, and then we add a lot more black to make it so it's a really dark shade of brown. And that's it for today. Enjoy making your mousse, and I look forward to posting them up on our board. See you later, grade one.